Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everybody. Ya, hari ini saya akan memberi suatu pencerahan mengenai renal fisiologi. Ya, sangat penting sekali karena ada hubungnya dengan jantung. Seperti yang anda ketahui, Bapak function of the kidney, yeah, number one, regulation of water and inorganic and balance, removal of metabolic waste product from the blood and their excretion, the urine, removal and foreign chemical from the blood and their excretion, the urine, and very important, number four, is gluconeogenesis, yeah, 20%, occur in the renal. Number five, secretion of hormone, renin, erythropoietin, and 125-dihydrohydroxine vitamin D3 is very important the, uh, in the metabolic system. That is basic biochemistry of the renin angiotensin system. I think you know already, but I will remind you that there are 15 percent of uh, circulating A's uh, uh, in the uh, pulmonary capillary, capillary, and it will uh, will go to systemic. When there is something acute condition, for example, megadal infarction, yeah, to improve uh, cardiac output, cardiac output, yeah, or uh, uh, stroke volume. Okay. I think you all know already about the kidney, urinary. And immune system. That is the uh, picture of the nephron. It's very important, yeah, because uh, everything happens here yeah, to regulate, to regulate the, all of the metabolic system. Yeah. Usually, for the uh, urine production and creatinine serum excretion. Blood supply to nephron. Yeah. After renal artery go to smaller branches, pass apparent, pass apparent, yeah, and then glomerulus, and then pass apparent, and then go to uh, peritubular capillary. Normally, 20% of plasma in the filter convert glomerulus into Bowman capsule. Blood supply of the nephron in all in almost all of the organ capillary combined to from the beginning of the penis system. But glomerular capillary instead recombine to form apparent arterial is quite different with the other organ. Yeah. And then go to peritubular capillary. The vascular structure that should be the medulla. Yeah. Usually, it's very important in the descending fascia recta and ascending fascia recta. Category of nephron, I think you know already. 
superficial, mid-cortical, and jupta medullary nephron. The jupta lumbar apparatus is very, very important apparatus, the renal, a portion of the late thick ascending limb of handle. Semen causes between the apparent and apparent artery loss. Jupiter lumbar apparatus is made of three cells type. Number one is glomerular cells contain renin. And number two, extra glomerular mesenchymal cell. Yeah, that is a cell to support the glomerulus. Number three in macular densa as the sensor. Yeah. Actually, uh, there is number four. That is a, a sympathetic nerve. Yeah, there. Renal repression. Receive a resupply of sympathetic noradrenergic neuron only. Yeah, this is good to almost all of the renal, but there is no significant parasympathetic innervation. Glomerular filtration, glomerular filtration, glomerular filtrate. Fluids with Bowman's capsule normally contain no sound, protein free, most inorganic ions, low molecular weight or solute, something like glucose, amino acid. The central is an incredible around 180 liter per day or 120 milliliter per minute. That is the three basic renal process. Number one, after uh, uh, renal artery, and come to upper end, and then glomerulus, and, and then upper end. Around 20% of plasma filter to capsule pulmon and then go to uh, proximal to tubules but not only glomerulus uh, as a filter uh, apparatus but some of the uh, uh, molecule uh, excreted uh, to the uh, to the uh, proximal tubules, yeah. and then and then will be reabsorbed by the peritubular capillary. And the rest, and like uh, our urine, the more around 1.8 liter a day. Let us see for the substances, yeah, filter and reabsorption. Look at here, water, yeah, around. Uh, 180 liter a day, but almost 99% reabsorbs again. And our urine around 1.8 a liter. Sodium also uh, reabsorb 99%. And look at here, glucose 100%. So our urine there is no glucose anymore.
Well, Uriah, 50% really absorb. And look at here, there is no uh, protein here. Intrarenal chemical messenger, we have two very important messengers. Number one is angiotensin 2 as a paracrine agent. The number two is the metabolic of arachidonic acid, something like prostaglandin A2. Prostacycline, thromosan A2, and ecotins. Once again, some adrenal paracrine agent, agent 2, yeah, dopamine, endothelin, group vector, adenosine, as the young uh, portion. But pinin, uh, calicrinin, balikinin, and EDRF, endothelial derived progression factor, as a yin factor. Even though they undergo nice yield other, but they will stabilize the renal ecosystem. Renal blood flow, yeah, renal blood flow around 20 to 20 percent of total cardiac output. Renal blood flow, uh, this is in, in this condition, renal blood flow is more important than, than whole renal blood flow. Look at here. Renal plasma flow by 0.55 then 1.2 liter per minute is uh, 65 minutes per minute of the sorry 605 milliliter 20% filtered into Bowman capsule and the remaining passing to the efferent arterial into the peritubular capillary. If you will uh, compute the filter fraction is glomerular filtration rate divided by the renal plasma flow. Yeah. How to determine the direct Filtration rate, look at here. The rate of filtration is a hydraulic permeability time surface area time net filtration pressure. Net filtration pressure is uh, is a uh, high uh, high is a, a hydraulic pressure at the glomerulus plus uh, oncotic pressure capsule per month minus uh, hydraulic minus hydrostatic pressure at capsule at capsule per month plus oncotic pressure at uh, clomerulus. So uh Pilsen rate is constant so yeah hydraulic permeability time social time the net filtration rate. Okay. Look at here the filtration pressure in the renal capsule. Purpose the DCD 
special temper. The thick one is the uh, hydrostatic pressure of the glomerulus, and then the second one is oncotic pressure of glomerulus, and the thin one is the uh, hydrotic pressure of the Bowman capsule. Yeah, you can compute the uh, renal blood flow by Cockrock Gold equation like that. We just know the age and body weight and serum creatinine. And in women, the value is multiplied by 0.25. This is the direct filtrocentric determinants, as I said before. Yeah. And the autoregulation of the blood flow is very important. Yeah. There are two. Uh, to type myoclinic mechanism is vascular smooth muscle contraction respond to increased stress. Number two, to, number two, to glomerular feedback is more important, more complex process. Yeah. This, this is uh, in for uh, partial constrictors and the uh, macula densa as the sensor. Yeah. This is a uh, tubular glomerular feedback, as I said before. Yes. It's very, it's too small, eh? <laughs> but I can, I can read it. But you can copy my slide, there would be no problem. Okay. Thank you very, very much to all of you for watching and uh, listening our lecture. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.